Hey everyone, in this video we will go through the week number function uh, which is a date and time function from DAX. So let's start. I've got this Power BI uh, file open here with me. I've also uploaded this file to GitHub. I've left a link in the video notes so you can download the file and do the tutorials along with me. So on this you can see if I've got due date and ship date. And I want to see how many, let's say for example I want to sh uh, see by the week number in a year which week I made the most sales. So I need to find out which week number a particular ship date falls into. So essentially there are 52 weeks, so it'll just give us the numbers. So let's just start. I've also got some documentation open here with me, which is like, so for example, this, it returns the week number for a given date according to the return type. So depending on what return type you've specified, it will tell you. And it's a, it's a column, it's not defining a measure, we're just doing a column, so just a new column over here. And we'll just call it week week number for due date, and then I'll just say week number, and then I'll just say due date, and I'll just close this out. And you can see here, so it's 9th of Feb, which falls into the sixth week and so on. So let's just go down further. Let's go down towards the end of the year. And you can see the, so when uh, the when January starts for 2014, the week number is one, and then it becomes two and three and four and so on. And it increments. So in this video, we learned how to find the week number for a given year. So it rolls off and then it starts again from zero the next year. You have options here, you can put them in depending on how you want the numbers. So I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.